Hello and welcome everybody to today's video. So in today's video, I'm going to be making a face cast. So I have made one of these previously, but I want to make it a little bit better um, because it's not it's not wide enough in my opinion. So this is what it looks like. <laughs> so you can kind of see. So the, yeah, I'm basically going to be making one of them. So the first step is to use either Vaseline or cooking oil or coconut oil or whatever you want to use um, across your eyebrows because you do not want it on your eyebrows. You don't want your eyebrows coming off. Um, so yeah, so you're going to be putting it across your eyebrows, uh, any facial hair that you have if you're older than me. Um, and then that, what I'm going to be using is this hat just to hold my hair back, but you could clip it back, comb it back. If you've got no hair, you don't need to worry about that. But yeah, so, and then the side of your hair, try and pull that back, um, maybe put some oil across there as well. You want to put a thick layer of oil on everything pretty much, except from your face, you can just do a light layer. And yeah, it does get, if you're claustrophobic, claustrophobic, um, it's not the best thing to do because you do get quite isolated in just that little space. Um, and so, yeah, also I want to do it a bit lower down the neck than I did this. So the first step, the second step even, is to find old clothes or just go topless. But I'm going to find an old jumper that I've been use, using to paint stuff. Because I don't want you to see me topless. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then I will probably talk you through all the steps on a voiceover. Uh, you just want to take some plaster bandages or plaster gauze or whatever, drip them in water and just put them over, all over your face, um, about two or three layers, and then move your face around, get it off, pour plaster in, peel it all off, sand it down, and then you should get something a little bit like this, but hopefully my next one's better than this. I might paint it a different colour, I don't know. But yeah, and this I have sculpted stuff on, so it's got some like horrible bits on because I've been sculpting and stuff but yeah let's move on to probably the time lapse or something like that of my mom putting all this stuff on fun and it'll probably take half an hour to an hour to dry um so you're gonna be sitting like this for that long um I'm oh yeah and don't cover your nostrils because you won't be able to breathe uh, logic um i'm gonna cover my mouth i'm gonna get my eyes very close so i can still open them a little bit so i can see use a hair dryer to speed up the process i've done a lot of talking i'll just show you <laughs> Okay, I don't know if you can hear me right now. I'm talking underneath the mask. Um, it hurts like hair around here. I've got hairs that I didn't know I had. And so it's pulling on them hairs. Ow. <laughs> and so, yeah. But I can now talk and it keeps this shape. I've just got to wait probably another 15 minutes or so. Now I can pull it off. It's going to be hurt <laughs> more than the last time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's really starting to come off. Down there. Okay, that hurt like hell getting off. It ripped off some hairs and stuff. Uh, I've got some hairs off. But I think it, overall, it ended quite well. I got the neck further down the last time. And so, yeah, this is the, can't really show you it, oh, sorry. The inside of it, if it will focus, not really. Um, 
so yeah, it feels it finally feels weird to just go. <laughs> uh, but that's how that's how you get it off. You have to kind of go like that. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's gonna need a lot of sanding. Um, I'm gonna probably have to do some more layering outside. I've got to cover up the nostrils and the eye holes, obviously. But yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm gonna go and patch this up and then I'll wait for that to fully dry. I've not got much charge on my camera left or my phone. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna patch the eye holes and the nose holes up. I'm also just gonna go a little bit further down because I've got this mannequin head. Um, and so it'll just create kind of a wider thing. So yeah. Okay, so I just pulled it off the mannequin, um, and so this is what it looks like. It is got like a line, so some of the plaster might seep through. And I should have put some bandages up, but I can't be bothered now. So yeah, now I'm just going to mix up some plaster of Paris and just pour it in there. Simple, I'm not going to film that bit because you just plaster of Paris and pour it in there. Not that hard, so yeah. Okay, so I am an absolute idiot. And one step that I did last time, I forgot to add oil into the plaster thing that went on my face. The plaster bandage strips. I forgot to add oil when I put the plaster in. So that plaster is going to be stuck. It's so annoying. Um, so I'm hoping it's not that big of a deal and I could still get it off. It's good make more sanding but I might have to I don't know if this is not posted I might oh, I don't know um it's kind of annoying I'm gonna have to do a hell of a lot of sanding now to get it off does it come off I don't know I think it might come off I don't really know so this entire thing could be ruined See you in the next clip. Actually, forgot to say, the next clip will probably be a time lapse of me getting it out of the mold. It's either going to be good, it's going to be fine, I'm just going to have to do a lot of sanding, or it's going to be completely ruined and I'm going to have to do the whole thing again. Even though I don't have much plaster bandage strips left, I have this much, which I think might be enough on my face, but it's if my mum is willing to put it all over my face again for the third time. So, yeah. Okay, so it kind of came out okay. Uh, it is quite similar to what it looked like when I did it last time, even though I added oil last time. Uh, it is kind of lopsided, and I've got a double chin. Uh, so that's a bad thing. It kind of is uneven. Um, but yeah, I just took this sculpting tool. It's I don't know what it's called, but it's got this cool hook. And I'm literally just scraping at it. I'm going to probably do that for the next half an hour or to an hour. But I'm literally doing that. And it gets all the imprint of the plaster bandage off. So, yeah. I'm glad it worked out. Okay, okay so the face is a little bit lopsided. Uh, it's probably just the position I had my face in. Uh, or the position it was in when I poured the plaster in. I just spent about half an hour using... Uh, this little scrapey tool and uh, this thing going around the eyes um, so I've now sanded a hell of a lot of it um, and I've got to patch things up I'm guessing quite a few air bubbles got trapped but this is what it looks like but there's two big holes there which is a little bit annoying but it is a bit bit wider than my last one which is mainly what I wanted but I think my last one looks better, but that's because I put cooking oil, um, you could put Vaseline and coconut oil in the mould. That's something I forgot to do. Oh yeah, and something I also forgot to say is your, your plaster bandage mould will get destroyed. You know, there's no way that will survive. 
unless you use literally like a whole bottle of vegetable oil, oil, oil or something like that. But yeah, so I'm now going to mix up some more plaster of Paris um, and just fill in the little holes, make it all smooth and just probably go around making things look better. Okay, so and that is it. Now your face cast will look a little bit more something like this than that. This kind of was a fail, um, mainly because when I put it in the box to pour the plaster in, um, it was kind of it kind of went out of shape, uh, and so it is out of shape. It's not fully straight like this. Also, I forgot to pour the oil in and brush it around the actual mould that I made for my face. I forgot to do that, so it would normally look a lot more smooth, and obviously I still sanded, sanded this, but this I mainly use this, um, and I'm still going to try and do some more, but it makes my face look very fat, <laughs> uh, and it's a lot heavier and a lot more, but I did that by purpose because I wanted it to be more than this. But yours will end up more like this face, so don't worry. It's just the way mine turned out. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!